So we've said it before, getting a five-year fixed rate mortgage from a big bank is virtual insanity. The reason why is payout penalties. And I wanna show you exactly what I mean by that and why the payout penalties are so much higher at a big bank than they are at a modern line lender. And let's remember, call a spade a spade. All the money in Canada essentially comes from six places. It's the big banks. So typically when you look at a mortgage with a big bank versus a modern line lender, the money's coming from a big bank anyways. It's just the monoline lenders, because they only deal in mortgages, tend to have better terms than what the big bank is going to be able to give you. So let's take a look at Merrick's Financial versus RBC. We're gonna run through this real quick. We're gonna pay out a fixed rate mortgage. And what you'll see is when we get down to the interest rate differential screen, that is where we start to put in our information. By the way, all banks, all mortgage lenders in Canada are required by law to have a payout penalty calculator on their website. So we're gonna input a real client's actual information. So we're gonna tell you who the client is. However, this is a client that got a mortgage through us. Two years ago, they have three years left on their mortgage and we're going to calculate the payout penalty that they have at Merrick's Financial versus a payout penalty that they would have at RBC. So the current interest rate that this client had was 2.99%. The published interest rate for the equivalent remaining term. So this client has three years left. So if you look down here, 2.59 is the equivalent remaining term. The amount that you wanna repay, that's the full mortgage balance in this case. So for this client, it is 261.372. The number of months remaining on the mortgage are essentially 36 months. So your estimated interest rate differential comes out to $3,136. So not bad for paying out a $260,000 mortgage. Now if we flip over to the RBC pay, uh, prepayment calculator, you notice it's a little bit different but the questions are essentially the same with the exception of one. So we're going to press continue, we're going to pay the full mortgage balance, fixed rate mortgage. The current mortgage balance, like we said, was 261,372. The maturity date is the 31st of January, 2020. You guys are paying monthly, and their monthly payment amount is 1357. And their last regular payment date was 3101 of 2017. Current interest rate is 2.99%. Now, here's, a, here's where this gets tricky. Notice that this payout penalty calculator has one field that the other one didn't, and that's the discount off posted rate. Now, if we open this up, it gives you a little explanation. And basically what this says is the discount is the amount that you paid less than the posted rate. So if the posted rate was 6% and you were charged an interest rate of 5.5 .5 on your current mortgage, you should enter 0.5 here. Now, for banks to be competitive in the last couple of years with the monoline lenders that they compete against, they were typically offering discounts of 1.8 to 2.2%. So we're gonna go with the low number here, 1.8%. So let's assume that at the time the client got this mortgage that the posted rate was 4.79%, which would be about right. That's about what it was at that point in time. We can go back historically and look at this. And check out what happens to the payout penalty because of this one field, this discount off posted rate field. There's your payout penalty. So in this case, it's almost three times as much, about two and a half times as much as what it would be for a comparable mortgage, similar features, similar prepayment privileges. Actually, in a lot of cases, Merrick's prepayment privileges are better than RBC's prepayment privileges. And really, for what's a better mortgage at Merrick's Financial, you're actually paying a higher payout penalty to get out of the RBC mortgage. So again, getting a five-year fixed at a big bank is virtual insanity. And the discount rate, is exactly the reason why. It doesn't matter which bank you go to, they all have this discount, they all apply it in the same way, and essentially what ends up happening is you have a substantially higher payout penalty with a big bank than you would at a monoline lender that that big bank is probably funding anyways. So don't be crazy, 
talk to a mortgage broker, know the differences, know that paying 2.99% at a big bank versus paying it at a monoline lender isn't the same thing. In the end, it's dollars out of your pockets. And as you can see, if you get a mortgage at a big bank, you're gonna end up paying more money in the end because most people end up one day paying a payout penalty. The question is, do you want it to be big or do you want it to be small? It's about saving as much money as possible and it's about making sure that when you go to sell your property, a whole chunk of your equity doesn't end up in the bank's pocket instead of yours.